All right. Okay. Dope. I am going to break the beat down with another Behind the Pads episode three. And this time I am going to actually just do it from the ground up and give you a whole walkthrough of how I approach a live beat. So uh, let's do it up. Okay. I'm going to grab a sample from the vast tracklib folder that I have accumulated. It's no different than records because I have so many. Okay, let's hear this. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to spend too much time finding the perfect sample. That one feels right. Uh, so I, I did already, I opened up a drum kit, just one that I put together of a bunch of various samples from different libraries. Kick, snare, hi-hat, open hat, a clap, and a tambourine sound. And I'm thinking I might end up getting rid of these two depending on my sample situation, but for now, we'll just go with this. And I'm going to drag the sample into pad five. go ahead and put it into choke group number one right off the hop and make it a one shot and make sure the polyphony set to one and my velocity destination is set to zero percent so you have full velocity to perform i don't typically like to just start off the hop and sample from the beginning of a sample but it's a nice, nice little intro part there. We'll see. <laughs> I'm doing a really quick sort of cut through here, but we'll get somewhere. I'm going to turn all these pads down here. Okay, so I'm kind of just like messing about here, but uh, let's keep hunting here. Instantly getting rid of the clap. I can already see where this track is going. It's going to end up being like a few different uh, different groups in total. But what I like to do now is kind of start refining the chops and uh, at least for like my first part and consolidating and figuring out where I can cut back on some pads. So I'm going to need... Keeping all these actually. One second here. Just need a sip of coffee. <laughs> Let's keep moving. So 
I'm gonna keep all these actually. One thing I might do is put on hmm, solid dynamics here and uh, just side chain it to have something from the uh, from the kick here, you know, a little bit of that pump. Pump, pump it up. All right, dope, yo. That's, that's a little too crazy. I'm gonna now, uh, now that I kind of got my, you know, part A figured out, uh, before I do any sample layering or anything like that, I'm just gonna duplicate the group over and that way it's kind of the exact same settings that I had for the previous group and go ahead and probably delete most of these pads except that one that I want as the next part B and I'm gonna take this sample and truncate it to cut the end off so that way I can at least like do the transition off of that sample okay I think I got it here Yep, so now I can be like... And kind of go into the next part. Which I don't know what that's going to be yet. Just kind of uh, searching through again here. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing in truncate. This sample, it sounds like. Okay, dope. So, um, I think for the most part, I don't know if there's any like uh, real zoning I want to do in this track. At least for now, it's it feels pretty. It's got a lot of like texture and a lot of uh, bottom end in the sample that I do like. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this plugin I love to use by Good Hertz, uh, Volf Comp. This fucking plugin is crazy. And let's do a little color change action for the drum sample pads to not get confused for myself or anyone watching. Yeah, that looks good. So now that I got the basic layout of the track, I typically go in and just, you know, we'll play it over and over again a few times to kind of get the vibe going and figure out like the, you know, the unique little changes that happen within it. And aside from that, I just kind of hit record and go pass after pass until I feel really good about one. And a lot of times cool mistakes happen and they turn into little improvised ideas just on the fly like that and that's the beauty of having the freedom of just being able to you know not hit play and perform it live you know you can kind of continuously flip the sample uh like we didn't even try to pitch it yet or anything but i think it's cool for now so i'm gonna try a run through of the track and uh and see where we get but like i said i mean this whole uh setup is super straightforward i'm just running again out the machine into the sp into my uh audio interface and into ableton treating machine and the sp as its own sort of unit and instrument cheers
Okay, dope. So, that one took me many takes to get. So, this was a little bit of a different breakdown uh, where I started with the, uh, the breakdown, um, but it was a bit of a tutorial. So, if you dig what I'm doing, hit the links in the uh, bio. There's links to the gear, links to all the music that's coming out, Rare Sounds World coming at you. So many releases every month. I got one dropping next Friday. So just keep checking back every Monday behind the pads. And uh, I hope I was able to teach you something and share some knowledge to help the culture progress forward of beat making and live performance and showing people that what we do is a real instrument and it takes real musicians to play real music. Peace and love, yo. Ha, ha, ha.